Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a little update on the state of my island, Caspian. Um, I've been playing Animal Crossing for, for almost three months now. So I'm definitely not as far along as some people, but I have been making some freaking progress. I've been putting a lot of time into terraforming and decorating and relocating things and whatnot. So I just wanted to give you guys a tour of my island so far, mostly because I haven't had any visitors in this state of like island completion yet. I only have a few friends who play Animal Crossing and I'm definitely in the market for some more, so if you'd like to come visit my island, I would really enjoy that. So I've put my friend code in the description, and I would love to arrange some kind of island meeting. And the state of my island is definitely not perfect. I have a, lo a, a lot of recipes that still need to be unlocked, and a lot of furniture I haven't gotten yet, so this is me working with whatever I've been given so far, which isn't a lot. I tried to make the best of it. Now, which outfit should we do? I'll show you guys all my outfits, because they're really cute. Matching raincoat set. I've got this one for when I go to mystery islands or just exploring my own. I love the jumpsuit. I wish I had a lot of these clothes in real life, honestly. This is like my freaking, oh, I love this apron so much and my favorite villager Bubbles gifted it to me, so. And oh, this dress too, like, I wish I had it in real life, honestly. Fairy princess, there we go. Gumdrop party. I love this dress because my, another favorite villager, I mean, I love all my villagers except one. I'll get into that, but. Mits Mitzi? I keep calling her Mitski because that's the only like context I have. Um, Mitzi. She wears this dress all the time and I like to wear it with her. She looks really good in it. Garden party. I love this apron. It has like fruits and veggies on it. I think for the grand tour I'm gonna go with my little blossom fit. Keep in mind also, sorry, too many disclaimers, but keep in mind also I've never played an Animal Crossing game before, so I don't I really had no idea what I was getting into before I played this. So in terms of the layout of airport and resident services, you know, everyone's on about, oh I wish I chose a different spot, and I'm with you. But I've definitely made it work. Okay, this is Sydney over here. I love her. I really love her. She calls me Sunshine and I really like that. Cutie. Okay, sorry, excuse me, excuse me in my tour. So this is my little entrance. It's not much yet, but I got my little Caspian sign, my little flag. I got some star fragments and a couple signs pointing, you know, that's pointing to the neighborhood area. Oh, there's Flick. Oh, they're my biggest crush. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, Flick. So I got some star fragments laid out. I really love using these, and you'll see this a lot on my island. I love using these like, petal floor design. It just makes everything look so sparkly and fairy-like. Um, also, if you've probably noticed, I have the Switch Lite, like the handheld version, so I can't stream this. And at the time when I was buying it, I was like, oh, of course I'll save a few hundred bucks. Like, I don't want to stream my games anyways. I'm not a gamer. But now I really wish I got the original because I would love to do like a play with me live stream or something. I guess let's go through the neighborhoods first. So up front I have my Lily of the Valleys. I only have a couple, which is sad, but I've got a bunch of these gold roses. I would say like the main um, objective or dominating feature of my island is my flower gardens. I really love this the planting process and the hybrid process. So this is Zucker's house. I love him so much. He's such a cutie. I just got him a couple days ago and I just put all these like kitschy little trinket things in front of his house because his personality just seems like that. This is Biff's house. He is like a... and I'm, I'm gonna try and show you guys all the villagers when we're out and about but he is the jock of the island. I don't personally like those archetypes of villagers, but Biff is really cute. He's a hippo, just like my girl Bubbles, you can see in the back here, and they have kind of like a thing going on, so I would never want to tear them apart, but his whole thing is fitness and gains, so I just put 
all these like all this exercise equipment in front of his house and also this is i really like the color this silo and like the pink and blue i have going on in different areas because those are my two favorite colors like together so this is just kind of like a shit post little area like i just wanted to get my island to five stars by having items out so that's what i did this is like a changing room toilet whatever so those aren't there forever just for now so and then we got cole's house who's this cute little bunny whose personality is like snacks and food so i put a little cake put a little orange tree so he can snack put a little fruit wreath and this is my girl bubbles house i just saw her where did she go oh there she is she's punching <gasps> shut up she's punching the punching bag to imp impress her jock boyfriend let me talk to her I love her so much. Um, this is her Bubbles house. Sorry, I screwed up the path here because I was trying to trap one of my least favorite villagers. We got a little lighthouse tea picnic vibe. I gotta kind of build on this. But I gave Bubbles like a very femme little patio situation with some clothes like laundry stuff in the back because she's all about clothes like she loves we love gifting each other clothes because she has like the pop star archetype but i love her a lot these are a few fruit trees i planted this this is blair she's pretty new as well but she's a cutesy little squirrel i think my island is going to be like girls and gays only situation so i'm trying to get like the most femme <laughs> of all the villagers um, and this is my house, and as you can see, like, my door and roof, like, is I just customized my door and my roof, and my front lawn, let's not talk about it right now, like, I just like to hoard pretty flowers. This is Blair's house. She was a little squirrel, so I gave her some, like, so I gave her, like, a nest hay bed situation. And a little well, she's just a cutie, she's like an old lady. Like she calls me my dear and everything. So I gave her a little old well. And behind my house, I planted some peach trees and some hybrid flowers that I grew. This is Mitski's house. She loves crafting and building. So I gave her some nice wooden items like a rocking chair and a swinging bench. She likes to relax and work hard at her crafting. So gave her the best of both worlds. And this is Renee's house. She's my horsey gal. She's in here right now. I definitely want you guys to meet all my villagers. There she is. She's like a little email. Hold on, wait. Also, I make them call me ridiculous things. Okay, wait, let me see her. Like she has like a little cartilage moment going on, like a little bit of a mohawk. Like she just, I just like her. She was my one of my first. I think it was her and Biff were my firsts, I think. But yeah, I have to kind of add some more to her garden here. But she likes flowers, so I gave her this pretty little garden and like a nice little seating area and a bird bath. Um, this is Vic, I hate him, so I gave him like a dog house. I don't know, I gave him nothing. <laughs> you can go girl, give us nothing. He's just, I'll show you, he's like, uh, like I don't discriminate against villagers because everyone says Cole is ugly, but I love Cole. Vic is just ugly and gross and mean and uh, I don't like his vibe, I'm sorry. And this is Sydney's house. I just gave her like some r rattan, rattan furniture. I don't know how to say it, but it's a nice furniture and she can change clothes. I don't really know what her personality is yet, like what her archetype is, but see my island doesn't have like a flow. Like you don't know how to get from one point to another. So, Okay, let's go down to, so that was all my neighborhood. There's Biff. Oh, you've been working out? No, this is Cole. Okay, we get it. I just love you, okay? Jeez. And did I see someone else? No, okay. So yeah, let's go back to the entrance. And then this is like the way to get into resident services. But this is the alternate kind of like scenic entrance. We want to go this way. 
You can go up this way up into resident services. But let's keep going down this way to like the plaza area, like the shopping area. So this is Able Sisters. I laid a flower umbrella down like this to get this effect, which I really like. So life hack. And then this is the museum. Wow, look at that sky. The museum. And I spent a long time creating this. I can't even really see the structure behind it with like a, I can't even see the fossil on top because I thought it would be visible from the front and be like this grand mountain thing, but no. But, so then whatever, this is, this is Nook's Cranny, as you can see. Basically everything I made has like a billion different entrances, so it's really hard to take people on the tour because there's like so many ways you can go. So, but this is one of the ways, it's like a secret little path. And you can kind of see, oh, it disappeared. Okay, well, you get the vibe. And then like, this is where we go to our flower gardens. But I'll take you back there another time. And then this is the main bridge entrance. I did a lot of terraforming work here. And then we get back up here. So for these two bridges, you can enter down from resident services, you go through the Orange Valley. My island's native fruit is oranges, and I was planting a lot of other fruits that friends gifted me, and it was kind of less apparent that my native fruit was orange, and for when people come, you know, they can, ha they can take these oranges. So I just made this little pathway because this spot was really empty. And then you can see you can go to Sydney's house, skirt, and there's the bridge. And then you can go over this way, come down. I have like a little rainbow flower patch going on. That's that secret path, and we're in the gardens. There's also one more entrance to the garden path. This tour is so chaotic, like I apologize. <laughs> so when you go down through the museum, down that plaza, you can also go over this way. So, so this is where I grow all my hybrids. It's take, it occupies a lot of the land, but it's really essential to me. I really like having the flowers. And then we got some little seating area. This is where I'm planting all my hybrid hybrids, like the ones you can't really distinguish, like hybrid red, hybrid pink, hybrid yellow. So that's where I'm keeping all those for now. As you can see, I don't have many yet, I picked all the mums to make those seeds. I'm so sorry, mums. Oh, this butterfly. Hold on. I gotta catch this butterfly. Because Flick's still on my island, you know? So yeah, I have all many, many gardens. I have a beachside carnival. So this is like the eating area. And I just really like the color scheme of the wedding month in June. So I incorporated a lot of that. This is like a stall where you can, you're like, hello. I like a cotton candy, and then I go, okay, haha, and go get you cotton candy. And then I can pop your popcorn. And then I got shave ice machine and a candy machine. So I got candy, shave ice, cotton candy, and popcorn. And then this little flower path, and this is the carnival itself. We got the teacup ride, we got some seats, horsey, got an elephant slide. And this like wrestling figure that my friend gifted me. It just seems like the types of prizes you would see at the carnivals. And I got like arcade games and whatnot. And this is the beachside pool. I got the jacuzzi. I got the little pool. Got these customized um, palm tree night lights that just look so vibey at night with the blue glow. It's pretty cool and I got a watermelon beach ball that just looks like I'm eating some watermelons down by the beach I got a towel and I got this is just like the lounging area this is where we get relaxed because we also got a shell bed this is like one of my favorite items in the whole game this shell bed and I customized it to be like pearlescent it's stunning okay then we go back in the flower garden 
And this is the campsite. Got a lot of leads to pick. Excuse me, sorry. Don't mind me. Sleeping bag here. Sleeping bag here. A barbecue, a little bonfire. And all these pine trees to just give off that campy vibe. And it's right by the beach, so... Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's the vibe. That's it. Then we go up here. Okay, and we can go, yeah, so there's like a little pathway here, it'll connect, I'll show you where it connects after. I feel like I should make it a bit lighter, sorry guys. Sorry guys, I just went back an hour because it was getting too dark for the tour. I don't usually time travel in the game. <laughs> the phone said you're a fucking liar. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Going up, and this is what I call the greenhouse roastery coffee and baked goods i don't know but uh got all this green kind of like got the kettles green the plants apron stall it's just a very nice little secluded spot for the coffee shop and the greenhouse is right down there so it kind of sits above you know guests have the option of walking you know you have to walk through the gardens then to the greenhouse, then here to get here, so that's why it's nice. And then there's like this kind of, it was kind of heart-shaped before, this heart-shaped lake, but you know, I had to build a coffee shop, so it's kind of a little bit of a wonky heart, but the spirit's still there. And then this is my little zen moment out on the back. I really like this path. It just feels so like secret tree house, you know? Whoop. And this is really, really pretty at night, <clears throat> especially when I have pals over, because we just sit and we watch the stars together. I wish you could actually go in these baths like you could in the old games. This is my fruit orchard. I received all these fruits from my lovely friends. And this is the secret beach entrance. I, don't, I haven't done anything with it yet, but it's easy for when Red comes, even though I hate him. He's just like, also gives me bad vibes. Okay, now let's pretend we're not seeing any of this. Da -da -da -da. See, my island just does not have a good flow, but I love it. I love how like intricate and optional everything is. Okay, so we're back in the flower garden. Now we go up these stairs to the greenhouse. Ooh, I love the hydrangea bushes. I love the colors, the fountain, and I used stalls and panels to customize this greenhouse. As you can see, put some pear trees behind there. I love these flower carts, and I was gifted these floating planters by my villagers. I really, really like, this is probably my favorite part of the island, is this greenhouse area. And then you go back here, so you can take this path and go up to the coffee shop again, the greenhouse coffee shop, or you can take this path and it says the market's open. Is it? Let's go see. And here we have, this is the hybrid nursery. I'm taking hybrids to make some more hybrids. This is just like the extension of the flower gardens down there, so. Let's go. What's over here? Oh, shit. It's a market. And I have here the tarot crystal spiritual stall. We got some heart crystals on the ground, incense, and like a po- it's, it's a fruit blend, but it could also be like an herbal blend for spells. I got the tarot set, books, and I customized a stall sorry a panel to make this crystal shelf so this is my pottery stall i had a lot of clay laying around there's like little modeling clay little ocarina pitcher and pot and this is the antiques table there's a little vinyl like a record player a matryoshka <laughs> i don't know how to say it um gothic mirror ukulele shell lamp there's like an antique bug holder, like a bug cage that I have back there, and a bookshelf. 
And then this is the recipe stall. I have way too many repeated recipes, so for my friends who just kind of started out the game, they can come and pick these up and learn some recipes quicker. But I really, really like this section too. Like it's just, it's very real and cute. And I love like a farmer's market moment amidst these growing flowers. Like I just really enjoy that. But I'm not having much luck. Like I, I'm having a lot of luck with the gold roses, but I have all these other ones where I'm trying to make hybrids of hybrids and it's taken a long time. I need some people to come water my flowers for me because apparently that helps. Now we're back to this main kind of waterfall area. And if we take a right, we stop for a little moment of reflection in the bamboo meditation area really cute and then after some reflection we say oh I gotta walk that off and we go on a hike I made this little hiking trail because I really wanted to incorporate an element of nature like I, I didn't want to make my island look like a city I'm sorry if you have this but I can't stand the road when people use the road uh, like floor paving I really like having the natural, like I love a cottage court island moment. I'm not to that level yet, but I only hope to be. <laughs> so I just kind of terraformed all this. It was a lot harder than it looks. Like it looks very simple. And we can, oh, we can stand here and reflect as well. Ah. Reflection. And then we go down here and I'm gonna create kind of like a cosmic little vibe station. I don't know. Oh, a bottle. Sick. What do we get? Oh, we got another bamboo recipe. So that might be useful for the meditation center. We get these stairs. And we got we got these stairs right here. We have this bridge. And that takes us back to the neighborhood. I guess that's my island so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. I really hope- oh, forgot the most important part, sorry. I have my little karaoke station here. Can't believe I skipped past this. I have my little karaoke station here, this nice jukebox, 24 hour karaoke, like can you believe it? My villagers are so lucky. Um, <clears throat> and I leave the music playing and all I want is for a villager to come and sing. And Bubbles has done it before because she's my favorite. Zucker was dancing up a storm earlier. I love his energy. I love his energy so much. But yeah, that's uh, when I also tried to build. <laughs> I also tried to build another one of those mountainous things behind resident services, and it's not really working out, but, but it looks nice going this way, so. Anyways, let me just see if I missed introducing you to any of my villagers. We saw Zucker. Is he home? Zuck? No. Alright. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm really trying to get- oh my god, oh my god. I'm really trying to get a, a sculpture made of this butterfly. And I- it's- they're so rare to find. Oh, thank god. Oh, there's Zucker. Hey, buddy. Okay, yeah, but I just like you. Bye, buddy. Mits Mitzi? Mitski, I can't stop calling her Mitski. There she is crafting up a storm, I told you. She's a cute little kitty. Thank you. But I like her, she's cute. Ugh, Vic's home. Let's just go see him just to bully him. I hit him with my net a lot. I've trapped him in a water island like i've trapped him on a little island in a water he won't leave i've been waiting for him to leave for years look how fucking ugly his house is like why would you ever have this wallpaper and this lighting like you make me sick and he just looks like an ugly little viking and he has such a deep voice i hate it see ya but I'm, hap I'm so happy with everyone else. I love all of my villagers except him. 
and I don't like the trend of bullying your villagers for being just ugly. Like, it's just his vibe I don't like. I'm the mayor of this island. I'm allowed to decide these things. Thank you if you've made it all the way through this. I really enjoy playing this game, and I want some more friends on my island. Please, 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 please.